Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We are going to factor this simple trinomial. It is a simple trinomial because it has a coefficient on the x squared term that is a 1. So we need to find two numbers that multiply to the positive 18 here and the same two numbers have to add to the negative 11 in the middle term there. So to do this, we're going to create a little table on the side and remind ourselves that we need to find two numbers that multiply to positive 18 and add to negative 11. And so here you start um, guessing your two factors for positive 18. You can use your multiplication chart that you have with you or you can use a calculator if you don't know your multiplication facts um, very well. So we can start with the numbers um, 2 and 9 because we know positive 2 times positive 9 gives us positive 18. But when we add 2 plus 9 together we get positive 11. So that pair of numbers does not work. So knowing that we need to get a negative 11, I can change my factors to negative 2 and negative 9. And then negative 2 plus negative 9 gives me negative 11. So these are the two numbers that we want to use. But if you didn't get this right away, then you would continue listing your factors and doing your sums until you meet the two requirements that we set out here. If you are good at your multiplication facts, this will be a little bit faster for you, but if you're not, then you can still accomplish the same thing with your multiplication chart or with a calculator. Once you get to know your numbers well, then you know that you're not going to start off with two positive numbers when you need to get a sum that is a negative number. But that's going to take some time until you get used to the process here. So now we come over here and to factor this trinomial, we set up the our brackets so we have a binomial times a binomial and the first binomial is going to be x minus 2 and then the second binomial is going to be x minus 9 so that's it that is how we factor the trinomial if you wanted to check this we could do it very quickly by expanding the answer that we got here to see if it matches the original um, trinomial that we were given at the beginning. So remember how we expand. Um, you can use the distribution um, property or you can use your chart method. So go take a look at my other video on expanding binomials if you need to get a refresher on that. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 9 gives us minus 9x negative 2 times x is minus 2x and negative 2 times negative 9 gives us plus 18 and we have these like terms in the middle that we must combine to get x squared minus 11x plus 18 and so this checks because it is the same as the original trinomial we were given in the problem so we know that this final answer that we got here after we factored is in fact correct. Thanks for visiting Mrs. A Loves Math.